Hello hikers, welcome back to African Hiker. I'm Anita and I make videos about various hiking trails in Africa and on how to clean your hiking gear. This is part five of a five part video series on hike, no, how, what is this series called again? <laughs> gear cleaning. Hello, I'm going to be washing three of my backpacks today. Got my day pack, my mid pack, <laughs> It's a 30 litre backpack and my multi-day hiking backpack. We're gonna start by putting in some warm water and I will be using uh, green soap to wash. This is just a sunlight green soap bar. Empty all your pockets. Oh my hiking leader badge. <laughs> I'm gonna take the rain cover out. And then I'm going to use this and this brush to scrub a dub dub. And then I can get a brush. I get a better one. Hey, Fana. Brush and pay the bill. The zips get very dirty. Look at that. I saw that there was a brush here, so I just used that one. This part of the bag also gets very dirty because that's the bottom and it sits on the ground. I've put off washing this one for so long. I even just stopped using it. <laughs> the only problem with a yellow backpack is look how dirty it gets. Look at that. Like, whew. There are marks on here that just don't want to come off. Ah. Also, with this soap, just use at your own risk. With a backpack, I don't really... Well, I don't see the point in using like special soap. Like gear soap, I think... Yeah. Ah. You know, some things people are just making money. There's that. So anyway, with the backpack, I don't think it's necessary to wash it with a special soap. However, it also depends on what your backpack is made out of. Mine is still made out of like this quite durable material. Some people have those ones that are made out of those really, really thin fabrics. Perhaps those need different type of care. But with mine, this has been fine. As I said, my backpacks are also not waterproof. So there's that. It's not like I have to maintain any of that. I've never used this on a waterproof product. She says when the rain covers in here. <laughs> oh. So I've soaked everything up. Also, don't forget to do the straps because straps get so dirty and you're always touching them. Remember your straps. Oh, it's looking nice. Look how bright it has gotten. It is a pity about the rain cover being attached because ideally you'd want to wash this like you don't want this to get into contact with soap. So it was it just had soapy water around it. I didn't scrub it or anything and now I'm just rinsing it with clear water. Um yeah, what else can I do? It's attached. The next bag we are washing in a bucket because it is getting so hot like look at all the sun and i can't wait for the shade i mean it'll get there eventually but i'm gonna finish up oh gosh okay if you are worried about um using a brush on your bag what i used to do in the beginning is use a nail brush you know because they're quite soft they're a lot softer than this but now i know that the brushes don't do damage to my backpacks so yeah 
I'm no longer so careful. I'm just like, whatever, brush is a brush. Another thing that I used to do in the beginning that I no longer do is that I would unbuckle all of these. Like I would take out all this. But now all I do is loosen the straps. So everything is nice and loose. I don't have to worry about putting things back. I just loosen it. Then you can reach these places and wash. So the inside just gets rinsed. Rinsed with the soapy water. And then that's good enough for me. Most times, like my bag isn't dirty on the inside because I use, I line my bag. So, yeah, maybe this could be the dirtiest little socket because I sometimes put shoes in here. But then I also always have them facing soles to each other and then putting them in. You know, out of all my backpacks, the yellow one was the cleanest in regards to oh look there some oil didn't come out in regards to um the water color like look at that disgusting so the yellow one had the cleanest dirty water but the yellow backpack looked the dirtiest make sure you get these spongy areas because that is where the danger lies I'm really upset about this here. Can you see? I have a thingy missing. Let me show you. This buckle. You see that? That goes on here. And it goes across your chest. Yeah, my buckle is just gone. I used this bag on the way to Rwanda on the flight there. And I checked it in. And I've never seen that buckle since. It came like this. So that's pretty annoying. Crap. A big, 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 big laundry day. Um, I actually just got back from Zim. So there's gonna be so many videos now. There'll be Rwanda, there'll be Zimbabwe. There'll be the hike that I'm going to do is Leopard Trail. So, all very exciting. Whew. I'm exhausted. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye.